Hello everybody, it's Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. In this video, we've got a new promo for Zach Shall Cross's season, which premieres January 23rd. That's right, about a month away, we're going to get to watch Jack pursue 30 different women, or they'll pursue him, we'll have to see, in Bachelor Instagram account says, nothing can compare to a good holiday rom-com. That's right, the Bachelor PR team is working overtime this holiday season to provide us some Zach Shellcross promotional material. In this instance, it's a Hallmark-themed trailer, which I don't know if you guys know this about me. I actually enjoy a good Hallmark movie. You know what you're going to get. Um, it's cheesy, but every once in a while, don't we want some, uh, you know, the old charcuterie board of love? We want to know that it's going to work out. We want to know that we're not going to get blindsided by some twist, or he's invisible, or she's dead, you you know, cancer, whatever. We don't want that. We just want it to work out. And that's what Hallmark's all about is working out. We'll have to see if Zach works out this season. By the way, do me a favor. Or help me work out my social media. Follow me on Instagram at dneals. I've also been releasing a lot of reels on um uh, Facebook as well. So make sure to follow me on Facebook, Dave Neal on Facebook, Dave Neal's community, patreon.com slash Dave Neal for private behind the scenes bonus content. And of course, every afternoon, the podcast, um, I was going to say She's All Batch. <laughs> I'm not the host of the She's All Batch podcast. Uh, it was a hostile takeover. No, my podcast, Bachelor Rush Hour. You can go check that out uh, every afternoon. Okay, so I've been, I've been kind of whispering here. It's pre-sunrise in North Carolina. It's cold in the room that I'm podcasting and so the rest of the family doesn't hear me uh, because they're like what is he doing over there talking to himself pretty much this is how it works anyway let's um listen or watch the f next preview trailer that we have excuse me as i try to find my words and we have the show poster the bachelor tis the season for mr right reasons they posted that just less than a week ago and now let's watch the hallmark style trailer for zach's season of the bachelor um, that's not it. Okay, hold For on. For Zach, life was perfect. Until one day... I need to go. It wasn't. <sighs> this winter, he's taking a second bite out of love. One more? Tis the season. Whoa. I'm ready to find my forever person. For Mr. Right Reasons. I kind of want to kiss you right now. <laughs> okay. Zach Shalcross. Would you like to spend the night here with me? And 30 women star in... <laughs> the Bachelor. Season premiere January 23rd on ABC and stream on Hulu. For Zach, to, like, life. For, for Zach, life was perfect. Then he had 30 women compete for him as he builds a social media empire that allows him to quit his job and just pursue traveling. Life was tough for Zach. And, uh, uh, we're excited for Zach. And look, there'll be comments from people saying, boy, I'm so bored. I can't get into this season. I don't remember the last season where someone was like, oh my gosh, I'm super excited. It's almost like as an audience, we've decided we're going to hate watch it until somebody uh, gets their emotions um, run over and then we love it. We're like, oh, Rachel's the worst. Wait, Tino cheated on Rachel. This was amazing. You know, we're, we're just we're we're just we're just going to eat the slop they give us. That's what it comes down to. Well, if you're still watching and you haven't seen any of the other trailers, uh, let's go ahead and play the uh, first trailer that they've dropped. I believe it's this one right here. Um, let's get this love story started. Or, there it is. I'm ready. Are you? Yes, I'm ready. Let's go. All right, Zach is ready. And um, Demi, of course, says he's kind of fine. And, uh, you know, there it is, folks. Uh, the first trailer and teaser and things like that that you're going to see. Well, Zach uh, hopefully finds love. And somebody who appear apparently found love is Jordan Kimball, Bachelor Nation's Jordan Kimball and wife Christina expecting baby number one this came out on christmas eve what great news to share with their little prager university family here um yeah, let's read the article baby makes three jordan kimball and christina kimball 
born Creedon are expecting their first child. Us Weekly can exclusively reveal. Oh, I thought that was going to say they were expecting their first child, Us Weekly. You know, you can get naming rights to your child, and uh, this child's going to be called Us Weekly Kimball. We're so excited, the Bachelorette alum told us in a joint interview with his wife, who is 12 weeks pregnant. 12, re- 12 weeks? No, look, I'm not here to tell anyone how to announce their pregnancy. D- is that how it works? Do you wait till the 12 week mark? I don't want to tell people to wait. I always say this. I, th- I feel like waiting is a good thing to do because you want the baby to be happy and healthy, but at the same time, I think it also puts pressure on people to not share when things don't exactly go as planned, and then that can cause shame and all these different things. All I'm telling people out there is you can slide into my DMs at any ter- at any stage of your pregnancy and tell us about it if you want. We won't we won't uh, you know we won't judge you. All right. Anyway, us broke the news. I just feel like 12 weeks is early, don't you? I mean, whatever. What do I know? I don't. Uh, us broke the news in December 2020 that Jordan proposed to Christina on Christmas Eve. The twosome exchanged vows in front of. 92 guests at Wyndon in Houston, Texas on January 15th. All right, so th- I guess this is how it works. They got engaged a year later. They got married a year later. They're having a baby. Um, we'll have to see. Will, will I have a baby in 2022? Isn't that a weird thing to start a New Year's resolution? Will I be a dad this year? You know what I mean? I guess these are the questions you have to ask when you're 27 years old. I'm 37? What? Jeez, I better you know figure this out. All right, let's just pause life. When you live in California, you just forget how old you're getting. Okay, and now uh, someone's going to be 57. You're not old, Dave. I know, it's all relative, folks. Um, I don't think I've ever anticipated something so much in my life, Jordan continued. And with planning and wanting to start a family after the wedding, so much has happened in the last year and a half with the house, the wedding, now this. Jordan, I'm telling you, life comes at you fast. You get married. It starts you on this sort of like avalanche of growing up. You didn't know, like next thing you know, you've got a 501B, a 401K, a a C3PO. You get the whole thing set up. I started out with like the dollar ones. I didn't want to go all out just in case. What is he talking about? Oh, pregnancy test? But that's a positive. (laughs) So I went back to the store and got the one, the two pack, and that has the line one and then the digital one that says pregnant. And I was like, okay, this is it. All right. I love the logic here. I'm the same way. She goes, I, she goes, I went to the dollar store to get a pregnancy test because if it was negative I didn't want to waste the money on a good test well if it was negative it could have been because it was a dollar store test but either way the dollar store test showed pregnancy and then the more expensive test showed pregnancy you know what I mean it's like well I went to the uh, I got a dollar store condom because I wanted to get pregnant so I made sure I had the cheapest form of protection there that's like when a goalie doesn't have a mask on they're gonna let up a few goals I was out of town and she was telling me before she knew that she was going to make me a carrot cake when I got home. That's kind of my favorite little treat, Jordan tells us. And when I got home, she goes, oh, let me show you this carrot cake. And I was kind of suspecting. It wasn't like we had really tried a lot or anything, but that was kind of the plan that we want to start a family. But boy, the way I love, I love, it, not that they're innuendos, but I love, it's not like we were trying. Well, we just started banging is basically what he's saying. He was like, it wasn't like, like we'd been banging a lot. We, you know, you, 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 you pulled the goalie. You're one month off birth control. Next thing you know, we got carrot cakes coming in. It's almost been a year now since the wedding. So she goes, well, let me show you this carrot cake. (laughs) That's like dirty talk. Baby, come into the bedroom. I've got carrot cake for you. It's like, listen, I have a sweet tooth. Is it carrot cake or not? I come through the door and there's a pregnancy test next to the cake. That was a very, very cute and exciting way to find out. Um... I'd want to eat the cake before I reveal the contents of the pregnancy test. Now the twosome are gearing up to find out the sex of the baby, planning for a reveal in the new year. I'm content with boy or girl. I can't wait to find out. Jordan, however, admitted he is secretly hoping for a baby carrot cake. We want to continue to have kids, but with this being the first, I would like for the baby to be a boy, you know, older brother protector. But if the baby's a girl, that's okay too. You just want a happy, healthy baby. I'm ready for it. You know, I'm the, I'm the type, the, the, the more I've thought about it with children, I don't mean to sound like, I don't know, uh, any certain way, but I really don't care. I want a happy, healthy kid. You know what I mean? If it's a if it's a daughter who wants to go to dance class or a son who wants to go to dance class, I'm going to learn how to dance with the kid. I'm going to be like, all right, we're learning plies today. I'm plie Dave. And if they want to play soccer, I'm going to make sure they learn American football because no one plays soccer in my household. I'm kidding. Uh, I would have learned from my uncle. Uh, it's that you don't try to force your kids to be who you are. Find out who they want to be and then help them help give them the tools to 
you know, be the best version of that. That you know, my my biggest fear is that I have a kid who's just like a lazy bum. Because I've seen I've seen people that seem to be good parents that just have a kid who just wasn't meant for this earth. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're just sitting on their butt eating carrot cake all day. You know, uh, they star in Prager University commercials. I'm just kidding. The whole Prager thing. I don't know too much about Jordan Prager, but uh, maybe you're a big Prager fan. Either way, you can be a fan of mine, regardless of if you like carrot cake or Prager. I'll eat carrot cake, but that's because I'm a junkie, not because I enjoy carrot cake. I prefer my carrots uh, with French onion dip. That's just me. Um, or, or boiled in. I like my carrots boiled in a nice, nice beef stew, uh, but we're all different. I, I don't mind a juiced carrot. I'll juice a carrot if I have to. All right. Anyway, folks, that's going to be it for this episode. I've got one more video coming your way. I'm recording these pre-sunrise morning after Christmas. I've got my Apple Watch, which is telling me to go back to bed, but I am here for you guys. Bachelor Rush Hour coming to you this afternoon. I'll give you a little bit more behind the scenes of where I'm at, what I'm doing, what this week's going to look like. Patreon.com slash Dave Neal for behind the scenes bonus content, and we'll We'll see you right after this.